Hi, my name is Kevin Simmons and I work with FACT, which stands for Feed Your Child Torve. It's a community group that's been running since 2017 and we are in place to help feed the children of the Bay who are living in poverty. Now, um, we have volunteers all around the Bay that help us pack uh, meals for those children. And if you consider the numbers nowadays, we have about 7,000 children in poverty in the Bay. That's about three out of 10 children. And consider this, about a third of those actually have parents in work. So the level of poverty that we have to deal with is quite drastic. For example, during the holidays, we usually feed uh, about 150 to 200 children. Over the six week summer holiday, we put together over 2,400 meals. And that's just our work. There are a lot of community working in the Bay and a lot of uh, uh, charities. Uh, we are all working together with the Torbay Alliance. Um, to support and help people and families who are in uh, these situations. So for us, um, it's great to be able to recruit new volunteers because we have so many children that we need to reach out with, uh, reach out to. Obviously, we work with the schools and the more schools that get involved with us, the more our numbers are going to grow. Uh, so now that I've given you a bit of background, I would like to show you how we pack those meal kits. Now, if you're joining us to support and pack for the children that we are helping out, one of the tasks is packing those meals for the families. Now, it may sound uh, and feel a little bit overwhelming if you've never done it, but it's actually really, really straightforward. The key to making it really easy is to prep. Have your menu ready so you know exactly what you need and have your food laid out so that you just need to reach out and bring it out so that you don't need to rush around, okay? So really think about, have I got my menus and have I got all my ingredients? And once you've got that, then you're good to go. So I'm gonna pack three a family's bag with four meals each. Um, I'm gonna take it slow and I'm gonna show you how it works. Um, for me, I find it easier if I use my menus and my ingredient list as a guide. And I stick to that. I don't try to do more than one at a time. If there's more than one of you packing, you could either do one meal at a time together or each take one menu and do each be responsible for a menu. We don't put the items in the back straight away because that's uh, an opportunity at the end for you to check that you've got all your ingredients, okay? So I'm gonna start. And I'm going to start with my meatball and pasta and peas. So I'm checking my, uh, recipe, my ingredients on my recipe list and I will be placing them on top of my bags just so I know where they go. So I need two tins of meatballs to start with, which are over here. So I'll place my tins of meatballs right on top of the bag where, um, where I'm planning to uh, pack them, okay? So the next one is one tin of tomatoes. So again, grab my tin and just pop it down. There's no need to rush, it just, it works really simply. Then I need my pasta. So you need to make sure you check how much pasta each family is getting and make sure you've got enough. Um, and then a tin of peas. So again, placing my tins and my um, ingredients on top of my bag and that's one of the meals done. That's it. And that's my main meals all packed. Now what I need to do next is to make sure I have got all my ingredients in each of my bags. So the best thing to do and that's why you don't pack things into your bags is add up how many ingredients you should have. So if I count and look at my menu card, I can check exactly how many I've got, how much items I should have. So I've got two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 items. So I'm gonna go through each of my bags and I'm gonna count the items. 
to make sure that I've not forgotten anything. If you bag your things before you get to this stage, it's really easy to forget things. So I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And I'm missing something. So if I'm missing something, then I need to check in my in my list what am I missing? Make sure I've got everything and add what I'm missing. Okay? So once you've done that and you've clarified that you've got all the ingredients that you need and you've made sure that you've rectified any bags where you might have made a mistake, then you add your puddings. So each um, family will get a pudding of some kind. So it can be tins of fruit or it can be some angel delight, some blumange. So it depends on um, the resources you've been provided with. So. Now, I'm just going to check that I've got my ingredients. I've got some tins of fruit and I've got some angel delight. So I'm going to add it to my bags. So again, here, I put my angel delight, one in each. And then I add three tins of fruit per family. So we try to provide at least one pudding per meal. And we try to offer some fruit as well as some uh, more kind of puddingy things such as the angel delight or the match, something a bit more fair. But we do put a lot of fruit because we try to provide our children with as healthy a diet as we can considering what we have to work with because we need to provide them with non-perishable goods. So once you've got all your ingredients ready and you're ready to pack your bags, then you need to pack your bags the meals, okay? So before you put it in your main bags, um, you need to pack each meal individually. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna check your uh, menu card and you're gonna uh, put in the bags each individual menu. So for my chicken curry, I'll go with the curry, then the rice. I will add the recipe to the bag so that they know this is the menu they're eating. And then you also add one of the pudding. So here, I'm going to add a tin of fruit, okay? This is one of the meal, and now I can open one of the bags and place this into the strong bag, so that's one meal in the way. And this is why we need those big bags, because as good as those little bags are to separate the meals so that families know what they need to use, that you need a strong bag to be able to um, carry them. And now we've got two bags per family and you're done. Well, thank you for watching. And if you live in Torbay and you want to give us a hand, please do get in touch. We would really welcome any help um, because there's always things to do in the bay. Thank you and see you soon.